Hi, my name's Steve Tyler, and I'm in this short video going to do a demonstration of an iPhone application called Learn My Part, which is uh, designed to help choir members learn their parts. Um, so uh, the application shows a list, first of all, of MIDI files when you first open the application. There are a the few that come with the application, and you can put your own uh, into the application in a number of ways, some of which I'll show in a little bit. Um, and once you have an a MIDI file in the application, uh, we can open it up. So I'll take, for an example, this uh, piece here, this Sweet and Merry Month of May by William Byrd, and I have the, the score for that um, here. So uh, when I first come into the application, what I see is, uh, is, is each of the parts represented by a, a mixer-style uh, uh, track fader. So it's a, it's a first soprano, second soprano, alto, tenor, and if I scroll across here, uh, baritone and bass. So this is a six-part um, piece of music. So what I have here in the main application UI is I have a play and a stop button and a, an indication of where we are in the file at the bottom. Uh, there's a fader for each track and there's three preset buttons for uh, isolate, highlight and challenge. What isolate will do is set up the, uh, the mixer to only play the part that you select. So if I take the alto part here for instance and click the isolate button for the alto, it will have the, uh, the alto playing and all of the other parts set to, set to uh, silent. So let's say I wanted to start learning this piece of music um, on which the alto part um, is silent for the first three bars and then comes in. Um, okay, well I've set it to isolate the alto. So if I press play, we should hear nothing for three bars. And then the alto part should come in. Etc. Now I might want to play that a few times and I get used to the part. And, and now I want to hear it more in context. Uh, so now I'll click the highlight button. What this does is it sets the part loud, but all the other parts are playing, but softly. So what we'll do if I play it this time is we'll hear the, the, the two soprano leads come in first of all, but then we'll hear the alto come in rather loudly in comparison. And finally, if, when I get to the point where I really know this piece very well, um, it may be useful for me to sing against the other parts without my part being played. And for that, we can click the Challenge uh, button. And what that will do is set the mixer up so that all the other parts uh, are loud and the selected part is silent. And this time you won't hear the alto at all when it comes in. You can move around the file as you would expect to, just with a sort of iPod type of playback. So if I want to sort of go near the end of the file and press play, I can do that. So that's basically what the application does. I can also set the uh, the faders to to whatever settings, like custom settings, I choose, um, but the buttons here are to help you get quickly to the uh, setup that is most useful for learning. Um, now that's not all the application can do. There's a uh, little button down to the right of the playback um, bar here, uh, which brings up an extra section uh, with controls for tempo and an ability to loop between markers. So what the tempo does is fairly obviously, if I come back here, um, it lets me slow down the piece, which in combination with something like highlighting the alto, can be quite useful, especially when you're first learning. And secondly, uh, there's the ability to loop between markers, and what this does is brings up the ability to set a section of the piece that I want to concentrate on, and I'll just speed it up here just for the sake of helping with the demo. When it gets to the end of the section that I've marked, it'll go back and play it over and over again. So if I've got a section, maybe I've got a section sort of where I'm concentrating on my part quite, uh, quite slowly, and playing it over and over and over again until I get it in my head. 
And where actually playing back quickly is, is useful is, uh, let's say I know all the music, it's two hours before a concert, I want to do a very quick review to make sure I've got all my parts clear, um, so I might just play them all through but at double speed or something. So that, in a nutshell, is, is what Learn My Part uh, does. Um, a couple of extra functions here. So for some pieces of music, like the one we just did, uh, having it played on the piano is, 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 is the best bet because it's, the notes are quite quick and you want to hear where they, exactly where they come. For something like this, Talis, uh, If You Love Me, um, it's probably more useful to play it back on an organ or a sustained sound because the notes are long and held and it's very important to know when they stop as well as when they start. Uh, which is easier to hear if it's played back on an organ. Uh, so, for instance, this one you can set for any MIDI file, whether it's played back on piano or organ. And so if I play If You Love Me by Talis on the, on the organ. And again, I can highlight parts. So if I want to highlight the tenor part here. And, and that's basically the, the functionality of the application. For the final part of this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to take a score that you've created or written uh, in a notation package like MuseScore or Finale or, or Sibelius in this case, uh, and get it into a MIDI file format for use in Learn My Part. The piece I'm going to use to demonstrate this is a piece called The Lord Is My Shepherd that I wrote some years ago. Here it is in Sibelius. And so all I do is take from Sibelius' options, uh, export, MIDI file, um, default options, uh, we'll save it to the desktop, and that's done. And now I'll go over to, if I, with my iPhone uh, plugged in, uh, I'll come to iTunes. Uh, if you select the iPhone, um, you select the Apps tab, uh, on the Devices, Phone, Apps, and then scroll down. So when it first comes up, it comes here, you scroll down. Um, I select Learn My Part, and here's a list of all the uh, files that are in the application at the moment. I just click Add, uh, select the file, if I just save to the desktop, and it's on the application. If I come here now and open this up, um, Lord of My Shepherd has now been added to the list. Uh, and if I come here, I can play it. In fact, if I just do this, oh. Pop it on the uh, system here. I can play the file. And this is the score. 